FlashDeck is a Converge infrastructure. So if you're familiar with Converge infrastructure offerings, perhaps from other vendors, you'd be familiar with this space. It is a unit of compute, fabric, and storage that's been designed to be repeatable and standardizable inside a data center. Um, so it's a lot like some of the existing Converge infrastructures, but what we've done at Pure is we've taken it a step further. In uh, partnership with Cisco, what we've been able to do is take some of the real benefits in the design tenants, the, the underlying architecture of UCS and the underlying uh, architecture of Pure, um, which really align very, very closely. And because they align closely, uh, technically, we're able to provide a converged infrastructure which really exceeds the expectations of people who've bought, bought it in the past or looked at converged before. FlashStack is not a fixed configuration of, of hardware and software by any means. Um, it's flexible, but it's also expandable. Uh, to give you an idea, um, when you look at some existing Converge infrastructures that were in place before FlashStack came, came into the market, you'd see that as you grew them from, say, their smallest configuration to their largest configuration, that it would go from one point of uh, network management to 26 points of network management. So as it grows, it gets more complex. Um, and the same is the case in uh, managing the compute aspects or managing the storage aspects. Um, for the existing converged infrastructures that are out there, um, it is not uncommon when you're growing from small to large to have to do three, four, six, or even eight data migrations during that growth. And because the pure device allows you to upgrade as, as you grow or as you, your needs change, on demand, without disruption, right? It's this very seamless process. You can grow the storage uh, without downtime. And you can do the same from the compute environment. Um, it's very easy to add additional blades into a Cisco UCS environment. You plug them in, they're auto-detected by the software and you can push hardware profiles to them. So uh, because the Cisco design tenant is a stateless physical device, it's defined in software, and we have the same stateless functionality in our controllers from a pure perspective, it's a very flexible architecture. And you can go from a minimum of two blades and 5.5 terabytes of storage up to an exceeding 160 blades and petabytes of storage, all without data migration, all without downtime as you grow, and uh, with no change in how you manage it, the same number of points of management from very small to very large. Of the many, many flash stacks that are currently out in the market today that people are using actively in production, um, the use cases are extremely variable. And in part, that's because with modern technology where you can put hundreds of hosts, petabytes of storage in one place, it by its very nature invites massive consolidation. And so you have lots of individual workloads running at any given time. For people who are buying and using it, they fall into a number of categories. I think uh, the biggest customers are real visionaries in the data center. And they're saying, how can I change my whole data center architecture? How can I convert from a non-repeatable, non-standardized process where I have to reinvent the wheel every time I have a new project coming? I'll size for that project, I'll buy for that project, I'll manage it independently of everything else. To a model where I have this real standardized building block, I need more capacity for a, for a, uh, a new project, I just add that additional capacity, it'll operate, I manage it as, as a unified whole. Those, those people are, I think, ahead of most of us <laughs> in their data centers. Not everybody really has the opportunity to sweep their floor of old stuff and put in so, sort of a new modern approach. And so very frequently what we see is a, a smaller scale approach for FlashStack, where someone might have uh, a new project that's coming and they want it to come online faster so they can rely on uh, the pre-validated designs, the sizing guidelines that exist with FlashStack, and so they can deploy the infrastructure for their new workload or their new project much more quickly. Um, we believe uh, from, from what customers are selling us roughly half the time as they would normally. Um, to, to folks that are having immediate pain, let's say you've got a blown up VDI environment that's running on some old hybrid or, or, or spinning disk and doesn't have enough compute capacity, fabric's overstressed, doesn't have enough uh, storage performance, not enough storage capacity. Um, you know, those people with that immediate pain bring in FlashStack as, a, as an, an aspirin <laughs> to, to take away the pain of what they're doing and see almost immediate results. Um, the good news is it can be deployed quickly in all three of those types of spaces, um, and it can be deployed repeatedly. And very frequently we see those who have an immediate pain who deploy FlashStack then come back and decide they would like a second one or a third one or a fourth one. And they begin that process of modernizing their full data center. Well, the good news about FlashStack is it doesn't require a set of additional skills 
for a data center administrator. What really changed with the modern era of convergence is that it's designed for an IT generalist approach. So it can be managed, a flash deck for example, can be managed entirely from within vCenter. So that it's a VMware admin who's managing all the physical aspects of all the elements inside that data center via uh, both plugins and through integrations directly into vCenter. So it's, it's sort of a different approach. What it's trying to do is remove the need for deep specialty information, make everything simple to deploy individually, and then as a whole, make it just much easier to operate and manage.